every single YouTuber considers having a dedicated space to film their YouTube videos, aka a filming studio. And you probably thought about the same thing like I did. I thought about having a filming studio because it would help with consistency, branding, and saving me time. So if you are interested in creating a filming studio similar to one that I created, I'm gonna share with you the tips that I have for creating your own filming studio. Hi, I'm Shane of The Well Vibe, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I decided to create this filming studio that you see here behind me to record all of my YouTube videos. One, it would help with consistency. I didn't want to have a different space that I would film YouTube videos and not really know how that setup worked for me. And two, it helped with branding. So when people clicked on one of my videos, they knew exactly that they were in the right place because they saw this consistent branded video or this setup that were in my videos. And thirdly, it helped with saving me a lot of time. Usually when you are filming in somewhere else in your home or in your office, you tend to have to, you know, clean up, tidy up, put things in place, put up your camera, put up your lighting, and everything else just to get prepared for filming videos. And that takes up a lot of time. But when you have a dedicated space to do that, everything is already set up exactly how you like it. So that way you don't have to spend lots of time getting everything prepared to film a YouTube video. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did to create this filming studio. So I decided to create this filming studio after I moved out of my apartment and into an apartment that I shared with my boyfriend. And when I recorded my first YouTube video in this apartment, I was so unsatisfied with the video and really the background. One, the background was very dull. I was so used to having my bright blue couch in all of my videos. And then I moved in with my boyfriend and we have a very neutral brown couch. So that changed the entire vibe of my videos. And it made me very unsatisfied with creating videos. I literally was thinking about, I don't think I can create videos here. I was so uninspired. So that led me to the decision to create a dedicated space for filming. So we had this office space here and my boyfriend had already been living here for about a year before I moved in. And he had this entire room full of junk. It was just filled with a lot of things that he couldn't fit anywhere else because he moved from out of a two bedroom house into a one bedroom apartment. And so he tried to put everything in this room. So my first task was to clear out this entire room and get it ready to turn into a filming studio for the Well Vibe channel. Okay, so after I had this entire room cleared out and it took me like two days to clear everything out, I was left with a bare empty room. This room is not that large. It's probably like five feet by four feet and it's meant to be like an office space and it came with this desk here already, you know, built in to the room. So I was left with this desk and the bare walls, and I needed to do something to liven up the room. So I decided to install this wallpaper here to give some character and a nice consistent background to my video. Before going the wallpaper route, I did consider painting the room. I thought about how difficult it might be to paint the room and then change it back to the original color since we were renters. And then secondly, when I tried to find a color that matched my brand colors, it was really difficult to translate the hex color codes that are from my brand into pink color codes. And I couldn't also find something that was in stock from one of the major paint companies that was really similar to my brand colors. So I just decided to go a different route. <sighs> so as you can see, there's a gap. Um, I'm going to take the remaining paper and try to patchwork it. I don't know. We'll see how it comes out. <laughs> ah! 
I chose this color because I watched a video about the best colors to use to show your skin color the best on video. And so they talked about using blues and oranges to give off that natural appearance to your skin color. So I decided to go with this navy blue wallpaper because it matched my brand color and because according to the color theory in the video that I watched, it will work really well. Every YouTuber knows that an essential part of any video that you produce is lighting. So naturally, that's the next thing I consider. So I watched a few YouTube videos on what is the best lighting for filming studios. And I found this really great resource, which I'll link down in the description box below, that talked about the three types of lights that you need. So I ran with that idea. And in the video, the guy talked about how you need a spotlight that will light the back of you, that will allow you to be separated from your background and add some dimension to your videos. And then how you need a key light that will light the front of you and give you a full picture when you're recording. And then you also want some interest lights like this one that will give some visual interest to your entire video. And so that's exactly what I did. The next lighting element that I added into my filming room was this LED strip light. What it does is it allows you to have some depth of field again because you don't want to blend into your background. And what this does is it makes me look a little bit more 3D, which I am because I'm a real life person. So you want to have something that's going to help to separate you from your background. And what I did was to choose one of the accent colors from my brand to have this color illuminate in. So I can actually switch up the colors if I ever want to, but I choose to stay with this color. Maybe one day I'll switch it up, but this adds a little visual interest to the videos as well. After figuring out the lighting, I needed to decide what I was going to do about this window right here. So you actually can't see that it's a window, but there is a window. And the issue with windows is typically great for getting natural light for your videos if you're starting up on a budget. But what happens with natural lighting is that the lighting changes often while you are recording. And so I wanted to minimize any changes in light in my videos. One, because it gets a little frustrating to have to chase the natural light and do things around that. But secondly, it would help me with color correcting my videos. I could easily set a color correcting preset in Final Cut Pro and then always use it if my lighting remained the same in every single video. So I decided to block out this window with a blackout curtain. Earlier I talked about depth of field and how you can achieve that with your lighting. You can also achieve that with your camera. But a third way that you can achieve depth of field is through the placement of objects in your filming studio. So I tried to think about how I can add a layered deep feeling to the room that I'm recording in. So what I decided to do was play with the placement of pictures and bookshelves. And so as you can see, this bookshelf here, it actually gives some depth because it's going in different angles. It's coming off of the wall. And then I have things along the back wall, but then I also have things along this side wall as well. So you have different depths and just even the placement of the light, for example, that is a little bit further out from the wall and it just adds a little bit more character to the filming studio. After 
I had the walls, the background color, the lighting, and all of those things established in my filming room, I decided that I wanted to focus on styling the room. And so this took a little bit of time and some months, honestly, to get done. But two of the key elements that I use with styling is one, try to use as many things as I possibly already have, and then two, bring in things that represent my brand. And so my YouTube channel is called The Wealth Vibe and I create videos to help people eliminate debt, grow their income, and build wealth. So I wanted to have things in the videos that would convey exactly what I talk about in my videos. And so I purposely chose a lot of things. Either I use them in my videos, like for example, these pens I use in my budgeting videos, and then other things like these books that I tend to recommend I have on the desk as well. And you know, just other key things that brought in that styling element. I also wanted some greenery so I decided to put this money tree in the background of my videos and it adds just a little element of liveliness in this room as well but it is something that I have to maintain so I have to put ice cubes in it every single week to avoid it dying in my videos because that would not be cool. I also found decorative pieces like this coin bank here aka a piggy bank but it's not really a piggy because it's an elephant but these are things that I use for my personal finance regularly but they actually speak to elements related to the videos that I produce. Similar to these origami little sculptures. They're so small, but I found them on Etsy and I really liked them. So I was like, you know what, let me buy them. They are related to my, my channel content and they are really cute. I also put in art prints that are similar to the content that I discussed on my channel. So these are things that I actually created on my own. So I created this print on Canva and I just went to FedEx and had them print this out. I also created other art prints like this one that aren't so overt. So if you've ever noticed at the beginning of my videos, I have my logo animated and you hear the beats from this song. It's actually from the It's A Vibe song by 2 Chains. So I decided to sneak in a little interesting fun fact in art form on my channel. So this is something I created myself. I downloaded the song, created the, the audio waveform in a print version on Canva, sent it to FedEx and had them printed, and I bought these frames from Michaels when they were on sale. The reason why I added in things like that that aren't obvious to viewers in the background of my video, it's just for personally for me. It's one, an interesting fact that maybe someone might be able to point out in some of my videos and notice, but two, it's also something that inspires me. And when you have a space that inspires you to do the work related to your YouTube channel's content, then you'll be happy and you'll be ready to film videos all the time. Another thing I decided to do to style my filming studio was to include my merch. So you'll see up here on this bookshelf, I actually have some of my t-shirts, similar to the one that I'm wearing here that I sell on my Etsy shop. And what this is, is kind of like subliminal product placement. So if you've ever watched a movie, you'll see that they have like a Coca-Cola can or they'll have, you know, Lyft drivers in the video. Those are product placements and they're subliminal messages that are sent to, you know, the viewers of that movie that encourage them to buy or to participate in whatever it may be. So I figured why not do that in my videos? It might encourage people to actually support me by buying some of my merch and things like that. And I won't have to always say it in every single video. So since this room came with a built-in desk because it's supposed to be like an office space, I had to figure out what to do with the space under the desk because it was exposed. So I decided to paint a piece of plywood that I got from Lowe's. I got them to cut it to size. And then I just placed it up against the lip of the desk and then behind there, I'm able to store some of my equipment for my YouTube channel. Ideally, in your filming room, what you'll do is you'll set up all your camera equipment, your lighting, and then microphone, and everything else that you need to record. And then you'll just be able to walk in, sit down, 
press the record button and then record your YouTube video. However, this room is entirely too small for that. It's only five feet by four feet at max. And so I actually cannot just leave up my filming equipment. Actually, my filming equipment has to stay outside of the room as you see here. It's actually out into the living room. So this is the end of the office space here. And this is now the living room. So that's where I have to keep my filming equipment. And so I do have to pull everything down and then store them behind and actually under the desk. Since the room already came with a built-in desk, the only piece of furniture I needed to get was this chair right here. And so I actually did originally buy a chair from Ross. It was this really beautiful emerald green chair, but it was so uncomfortable. So I opted to get an actual desk chair that would allow me to record lots of videos in one settings because I tend to bash record my videos. So I got this chair here from Wayfair and it's super duper comfortable. And another key thing about the chair that I picked out was that it needed to be adjustable in height. And so one of the things that I ran into with creating this filming room was the placement of the things on the wall and how they look on video. So one of the tips that I have for you if you are creating your filming room is actually to kind of map out where you want things on the wall and then actually turn on your camera and see how they are showing up on camera. Because one of the things that I noticed is that some of the pictures up at the very top of the background don't actually show up in my videos once I press record because the frame actually shrinks. And then I have to raise myself up a bit to be able to get myself higher into the background shot. So I needed an adjustable chair for that. But one of the tips that you can take from that is plan out what you want to do with your room, but make sure that it actually shows up on camera how you want it to be. I'm so excited and proud of my filming studio because it has all the elements that I need to be consistent and to have a brand that conveys on YouTube that I'm very proud of and allows me to consistently produce YouTube videos that I'm really happy about. So these are the things that I did to create my filming studio and it didn't really cost me a whole lot of money. Most of the things I reuse, actually many of the things like this globe for example, are things that I pull from that junk of mess that my boyfriend had in this room to begin with. So I just repurposed them and there are things that I had you know in my own apartment before I moved here and the things that I did purchase I tried to purchase very smartly so I got things from the Goodwill and I also got things on Etsy or I found things on sale but what it does is it conveys what my brand is and I'm really excited about every single piece that I have in this room. So I hope that you learned how to put together a YouTube filming room that will make you proud and allow you to do consistently good with your videos on YouTube. And if you're interested in more videos about YouTube, you wanna check out this video right here because I break down how much money I was able to make on YouTube within my first year on the platform. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.